Hello once again, Wax 2.0 users. This is another Green Blob Wax 2.0 tutorial. Now today we are going to be creating a well, sort of an effect for all you gamers out there. Now this particular one was designed for the HR gaming group who wanted to add some color correction to their videos but they didn't know how to do so without freeware software. All right, so let's get started. Open up Wax, and what you will need is the Green Blob custom plugin set. So, as you can see, there is an annotation in the bottom right of the screen, which will disappear. So, let's get started. Go to the Add Media Files button and navigate to your source footage directory. In my case, it is in the color correction folder, which will be your folder of your extracted zip file, including the product files used in this tutorial, in the download section below. So, open that by by clicking on the required click and pressing open. So you have your video and your audio. Now we won't be using the audio because it is not encoded with a format that WAX supports and will therefore cause problems. So, what, um, just another tip, when you import videos, if you go to the info section, it will show you the resolution of the footage and you can trim go into the project settings dialog and change the resolution appropriately so in my case it is 640 by 360 and the frame rate is 30 frames a second so as you can see our video size has adjusted now just drag the timeline up here up here so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be color correcting this gaming clip which I have actually, which is actually the a little bit of the tutorial level of the first of the fourth Call of Duty game, and we are going to be color correcting that so it looks awesome. So drag the clip down onto the timeline, and you can see as we move around. And because the clip is low resolution, it plays completely smooth with no choppiness at all. So we can just play it right through and we have no hassles. So let's get started. Now you will need the Green Blob plugin pack if you didn't get it before. I'll bring up the annotation again. So just click in the bottom right corner on the annotation and grab the Green Blob plugin pack. Well actually the link is to the tu tutorial but you know you'll get it. All right. So, let's get started. Go to the Free Frame Plugins tab of the Visual Effects tab. Now, we have all of these things, all of which are found within the Green Lob Plugins pack. So, drag down the Levels Adjustment to the timeline. As you can see, it hasn't adjusted it yet, so just move to a position which you find good for color correction. In my case, I shall move to 8 seconds. So we have a good complicated scene. Maybe we'll switch this up to best quality full. Just, you know, get a bit of a better idea as to what this clip looks like. So we have our nice color correction. Now what you've got to think in your head when you're doing things like this is what color do you want to symbolize in your footage? In my case, because it's a nice part of the story, I am going to use green. So expand the levels preset on the timeline and tick the auto button. Now what this will, what this will do is just add an automatic adjustment to the clip. So this is just a basic color correction. As you can see, we've got a nice color montage already and it will adjust according to where you are in the video. But that's not good enough for me. I am just going to uncheck uniform and go down further into the plugins preset buttons. As you can see, it got rid of most of the green, but we are going to fix that. So if you just scroll down in the timeline settings, you will see the low and high percentile buttons. Now, what basically what the low percentile is, is your contrast 
and the high percentile is your brightness. Actually, no, sorry, the other way around. So what I want to do is symbolize a bit of epicness, so I'll bring the low percentile up and the high percentile down, just to make that good grayscale 4 sort of feeling as to the game. As you can see, we're already getting a nice feel to it, and we are ready to move on to the next step. So, move up in the timeline settings until you get to the green input and output floor settings. Now, what I'm going to do is just import the in heighten the green output floor value so that we just got a bit more green in the low light. So just maybe the trees, give the trees a bit more green as we pull it up and that. Now just to get rid of a little bit of that we'll get rid of the green output ceiling which is basically the highs of the scene. So the sky, so we'll just put that down a bit to make the sky a bit a bit different from the rest of the scene. Now what color do now you've also got to think in your head, what color is the sky? Now in my case, I'm going to be a bit different and make the sky blue because the sky well is pretty blue. So just use the blue input blue input ceiling button and decrease it a bit just to give the sky a bit of give, you know, just a bit of contrast, blue input floor, actually, yeah, the blue output floor, that's the bottom, and the blue output ceiling is the top, so if we move that down, we get the green color, and if we move it up, we get our nice blue, so just decrease the blue output ceiling until you're happy, I'm going to leave it at this value, so, now let's move around in this clip. As you can see, we've got some nice color correction going on, but you just gotta look for bits that can be improved. In my case, you see this truck, and this truck can obviously be improved to be a bit more red, as that was the original color. So we'll just get to a good time. That seems to be a good time as the truck is in full view, and we will go to the red output and input settings so just just rise the input floor to give that a little bit of red and the inputs the input ceiling is a bit down the output ceiling a little bit down actually up so we have a nice effect So maybe we want this all a little bit red too, so we'll just pull that up a little bit. Or maybe we don't. We'll just move back here. So we'll, we'll just move the output floor up a little bit just to symbolize a bit of an autumn feel to the footage. So here we go. Our color correction is just about finished. Now, this tutorial is not finished. We do have a, some more adjustments we can do on this footage, and one of them is the bloom adjustment, which, let's just face it, makes everything look epic. So, let's just, un, let's just collapse this levels preset button and choose the bloom preset and drag it down onto the timeline. Now we want to drag it above the levels preset. So as you can see, we've already got a nice feel to it, a good bloom. But of course, you can change these settings if you would like. So let's just move to that part with the truck again. As you can see, it's a good part because we have the nice sky and the truck. So let's get started on this bit. Just expand the bloom settings and just change it to your to your desired output. I'm going to just make it so it's a little bit out. A little bit out. But not too much, so we got a nice feel. And then we'll just put the passes up a little bit to increase the detail and change the floor to a little bit of a lower value. Just so it grows the ceiling. Not that low. About 
0.934 and the aspect ratio always keep that the same. I'm in fact not sure why they actually added that, but it is beyond me, so just leave it be for now. And and I'm going to boost the light a little bit just to give it a little extra give. So we've got our nice bloomed color corrected scene. Actually, I'll bring the boost a little bit down. And it is almost ready for the net, but what you might also want to do is if you are one of those people who does knock off tons of kills, you might want to symbolize a really cool effect whenever you knock off some awesome kill. So, I think around here I knocked off a few shots. So, here. Now, what you want to do is you're aiming down the sight, and you want to just symbolize that epic moment when you kill someone, just give it a little bit of give. So, what we can do for that is we can add the directional, oh, no, sorry, not the directional, the radial blur preset and drag down onto the timeline above everything else. So, we have our radial blur, and now we can keyframe it. So, as you can see, just as we blur. So, which one do I want to use? I want to use that one. Yes, I do. Oh no. I'll use this one. Alright, so we're zooming in and we fire off our shots. So, what we want to do is set a keyframe before and after the shots are fired. So, before would be here. So we'll just choose the keyframing switch and then set it to linear and then we will just modify the value a little tiny bit and then we will move forward to when the shots are fired, set the value higher, so that would be here, set the value to maybe that, 455 and then go to after the shot's been fired and set it back to zero. So we have a nice bang as per the bullet being fired. So let's just preview that. So kind of a screen warp, if you suppose. But then again, some people with their clips also want a bit of a slow-mo effect. So what we can do to symbolize that, actually, drag back to here because it's a good shot. So... We'll go this shot, bang. So we'll just go here. Bang. So the climax is here. And then after the shell gets discarded, it goes back to its original form. So bang, bang, bang. We have a nice effect. Actually, that turned out better than I expected. Okay, so that bit obviously brings us to the end of another very exciting Green Blob tutorial with a nice effect. And, of course, there are other color correction plugins which do exist, but I haven't included them in my pack. You can request them through the YouTube messaging system, though, if you would really like. I mean, there's one of them which is a cartoon one, which makes everything look like it's from a cartoon. You know, just things like that. Alright, so that brings us to the end of another tutorial. Obviously, if you're editing HD footage, this would be 1280 by 720 or 1080 by 1920 by 1080 if it is full HD footage. So, now we can go ahead and render this to our desired output space, and it shouldn't take too long. Ready to preview in your output folder. So, let's just navigate there now. Um, so, in my case, in the folder, which is in your video description below, so, tutorials, color correction folder, and we have our video with Bloom and all ready to upload to YouTube in its full and rightful form. That's it for another tutorial. If you like my video tutorials for freeware software, then of course, subscribe and recommend me to other people. And so, 
and we are ready to end this tutorial so good luck with all of your projects and goodbye from